Hello, hello. Let's see what's going on on my laptop here. There we go. Okay. First and foremost, I need... Oh my gosh. My hair to be like up and out of my face. So, let's go with this group of hair right here. And we are going to use this. And we are just going... To trim my hair back and out of my face so that I can do this and not um, have my hair all up in my face. <laughs> Duh. Anyways, let's see if I can get this shared into a couple groups real quick. My VIP group and my party group. And then I'll show you guys the eyeshadow look I had in mind for today. Oh my gosh, okay. I can't see. There we go. Group. Okay, VIP. There you are. Uh, feel free to say hi as you're hopping on. Okay, one more share. Group. Ah. There we go. Beauty and the Lash Bash, which is my party group. All right. Perfect. Got this. Any hues? I'm. I'm gonna start with my eye primer. I'm sitting here like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, I'm weird. And actually, because I do wanna wear a little bit of, um, I do wanna wear foundation, I do know this. So I'm gonna get my face primer first. Then I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do my eyes. And that's my foundation on. Maybe a little bit of blush. I don't know, we'll see. But I gotta do it quickly. Whatever I do, it has to be quickly. That over. Alright. Get my face, mama. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me why I don't put face primer on my face. And it's because I use eye primer. Or, why well, don't put face primer on my eyes? And it's because I use an eye primer. Yes? Okay. But yeah, so that is why you don't see me putting eye primer or face primer on my eyes. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah. That's why you don't see me putting face primer on my eyes because I have an eye primer that I use for that. I'm going to go ahead and just drop that over there. Alright, so now I'm going to do my eyes. My eye makeup. I'm going to be basically playing with like reds and pinks today. No particular reason, just, you know, goes with my shirt, I guess. So. I don't know. But for eyeshadow, it's red and, reds and pinks. Reds and pinks for the eyeshadow. Okay, so now I need to set. I'll let it open. There we go. Get some timid on there to help set the eye primer so that it's ready to go. And I go to put shadow on. Good morning, Kristen. All right. 
right, so we've got my timid on there. My eyes are primed, ready to go. Primed. They're prepped and ready to go. Gosh, I just got to get off the excess um, timid shadow. And we're going to dig into this little treat I have for you guys. How's your morning going? Oh man, I need water. Go ahead and hit that wave button. Because it's screaming at me. Alright. So I'm going to start with unapologetic. So one thing to keep in mind is, yes, there are lives where I use more than one splurge cream shadow. However, each kudos comes with only one. So... Comes with only one splurge from Shadow. I just happen to have them all on hand. I think we might need some rose water for this one, but. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go in my crease here. Oh my gosh, I might have to hold my eyes still for this. And this is just staying like along the outside of my crease. I'm like doing like a U between the crease and um, my lash line here. I will come back and blend that down more. Since I don't need to put more product on my brush, I'm just going to go over here. I'm not going more than halfway over here. See if I can't blend this side down more. Okay. So since I'm having trouble blending that down, I'm going to get another crease brush here with nothing on it. And this is just going to pick up the extra um, product is there and we're just gonna go ahead and slowly work that inward there we go because I don't want it to be like too dark okay we're gonna go over here and do the same and work whatever product is over here over without adding more to it there we go oh my gosh okay so much better <laughs> And honestly, it really doesn't matter um, that it's smearing down onto the lid. That part is fine, and you will see why here in a second. Okay. So we got that in there. Now it's time for our first shade of pink. So this is called Hopeful, which you've seen before. This one, last time I used this, though, I used um, the Gullible press shadow with it and this is going to go on my lid. We're going to see how well this works. My, me and my uh, thought process. Oh yeah, that'll be fine. And that's just going to go right through here. Just right through there. Right through my lid, up to the crease, but not in it. Right. Hello, how's your day? Okay, so then that blended down a bit. So now I'm going to go ahead and introduce into this, yeah I could really use some rose water and wake it up a bit, maybe I'll do that next time I use that. So now I'm going to use 
this palette, the Love Palette. I haven't used this in forever. It is a gorgeous palette. And um, while we don't really have um, any more of these, what am I looking for? Okay. So while we really don't have any more of these palettes, we do have eyeshadows that are similar to the shades here. So if you're curious and would like to build your own palette with the shadows similar to these, send me a message so that I do not forget because that will probably happen knowing me. All right, so I'm gonna go with Alluring. Hey, Sophia. We're just going to kind of start here and work our way up towards the crease area. Hey, Jennifer. Not like, there we go. Pick some of the product up. Ooh, went a little high there. Okay, I can fix that. Is what I love about makeup, you can mess up and fix it. <laughs> right, actually, I'm gonna keep that here so that, that way I know it's in my used pile. Get my blending brush here, just kind of work it around a bit. Oh, goodness. How is your morning going? It's like so early. Oh my god. All right. And then I'm going to take Adored. I'm just going to fill in this part. Just fill in like the inner to midway of my lid. So I just poke myself in the eye with my blending brush, which just felt amazing, <laughs> in case you're wondering. I overdid it. I over blended, that happens. I only over blended on one side though, so that's good. <laughs> I can fix that. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna to try to blend this without over blending it again. There we go. That's better. Much, much better. All right, so then for like the inside area, I'm going to take Unwavering, which is like an extremely shimmery shade. That. I'm just going to go right through here. Tap off excess. Yeah, I really wanted to play with like reds and pinks today. Go ahead and blend it. 
I don't know why. I just like really, really, really wanted to. Okay. And then I will come back and finish my eyes here in a second. I want to get some foundation on. You know, while I still can and all. Do, do, do. And go ahead and get my concealer brush. Get a couple of these out. Got my face brushes that I'm using. It's a tad, it's like a touch hot in here. I'm gonna turn my fan on. Ooh, so much better. Oh my goodness, okay. Got that. Oh, I didn't hit the wave. There we go. I waved. A couple people didn't wave. There we go. Alright. Let's check out the right one. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I've been catching a little bit of sun, and if I use scarlet, like, it's gonna go white to, like, here, and it's just not gonna look right. So we're gonna go with organza today. Because it's summer, and I should be using organza. Take a look at the milk, the ink out the drop off. Alright, here we go. There we go. Alright, so we're going five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so we're going to do one more just for fun of it. Oh, I'm going to go up. What was that? There we go. Made up for it. Okay. Got my foundation and I'm going to start applying it to my face because my face needs it. Go ahead and rub off the extra that was on my back. On the back of my hand. I'm going it down into my neck as well. So I'm not leaving myself looking all kinds of crazy. Alright. Did that. Got my concealer. Just put a smidge on the back of my hand. By a smidge, I mean like about half a pea size on the back of my hand. Well, that might be a whole pea. Maybe. Depends on the, on the size of the pea that you're eating. Wrong. Okay. <clears throat> Go ahead and apply this so that it can warm up to my skin tone.
spot the YouTube brownie. Maybe we can take care of my brush while I'm at it. morning going. Alright, so I'm going to let my concealer sit in place. Actually, I should probably get another hair clip and clip my hair back so that it doesn't play with the concealer. Meanwhile, alright, so I'm going to get my bronzer. And yes, I will blend this down. Don't you fret. Like I said, yes, I will blend that down. Wait a second to do that. Create a more defined line. will definitely help do that. I'm going to go ahead and let that sit there. Get off the excess from this. Okay. I'll clean it. Alright, I'm going to get some blush here. I want to use
And yes, again, I'm aware of how bright that is. It won't get blended, I promise you. Promise is a promise is a promise. You get out. Is it this one? It might be the other one. No, it's the other one. Okay. Actually, it might be, might be lustrous. It could be the other one. I'm gonna go with the other one. Use the moment. For those of you who have no idea what I'm doing right now, I am applying um, the Touch Alamone Luminizer. Long story short, it's a highlight. And I am putting it on top of my blush. But yeah, so this one is called Benevolent. I think I did a video on this one. And then, let's just use my finger for this part. So I'm going to brush it. There we go. There we go. I'll keep it handy because I might need it again here in a second. And where is my powder brush? Actually, I think it's in here. Okay, so that is there. Alright, I'm gonna wait to use that. Now, I'm to blend out this concealer. It's going on the first. There we so the reason that I let my concealer sit for a minute is because I want it to warm up to my um, skin's natural temperature because that actually helps with blending it down. So that's why I do it. Go ahead and wipe away And then everything else that needs to get blended down, I'm going to take this brush here that has nothing on it and use that to just kind of blend everything down. My bronzer, my blush, my highlight. Now when it comes to the bronzer, I'm going to push it upward. I just realized I did not blend down the um, concealer above my brow. So what did I do with my... Actually, I can let my hair down now. I need my concealer brush. What did I do with it? That's the crease brush. 
Oh, you do make me feel it, Raj. I have no idea what I did with it. Hmm. Ooh, that good, though. Hmm. So indecisive. Alright, well, guess how I'm using this. Even though I didn't fill in my brows, still wanted to kind of add to their shape a little bit by putting concealer around the top. I mean, I can still film in if I want to, I just really don't want to. Alright, so now I can finish my eyes. Oh, itchy. Um, Gary, you're barking up the wrong tree right now, bud. I'm a wee bit busy. Okay, where is that one brush? Oh my gosh, what am I doing with my brushes? It's like I'm sending them to a black hole. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to find that brush because I'm not even gonna do with it. I'm gonna keep these right in front of me so I don't lose those too. Alright. So now I'm gonna take this liner side and I'm gonna go back to the beloved palette. I'm gonna go back with Alluring. And that is going to go along the bottom here. So. Just beneath the lash. I have to turn my fan off because the air is hitting me in the eye. Alright. So I got the beloved in the under eye area. Alright, so now the part that I have all been waiting for. I get to actually officially try my eyeliner pen. Yes, technically I used it yesterday, but the real test doesn't come in until you actually have to use eyeliner. So here is my official test with the new eyeliner pencil. I'm using the Splurge Cream Shadow in Magnificence. Okay, so far, so good. This is like, this is the first time that I've been able to completely use the eyeliner brush. And so far, so good. I'm gonna bring this down so you guys can actually see what I'm doing here. I mean, so far, this liner brush, not too bad. Yeah, I am totally loving this eyeliner brush. I have a new favorite brush, you guys.
Yes. I'm, I'm, mm, yes. Love it. Oh my god, my life is so much easier now. Where was this brush like forever ago? I'm gonna have to move the mirror over here to block out a little bit of the sun from hitting my direct eye, but. Okay, yes. This brush is an official must have. If you don't have an eyeliner brush, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Like there should be no excuse. You you should have an eyeliner brush. Doesn't matter if you're using powder or um or a gel or what have you. You you need an eyeliner brush. Let me bring this up here so I can actually see my eye. Yes! Oh my god! Yep, this... This brush is a total win, you guys. God. Alright, so I do actually want to bring a little bit... <clears throat> You know, you know what? I don't because I don't want to mess it up. Like, I don't want to do it and then decide that I hate it. Yeah. So, I'm going to leave my eye makeup alone. I'm not gonna do anything else. And oh my gosh, this little brush has. Made my life so much easier. Oh my goodness. You uh, guys. Yes. God. Okay. Okay, I know I pulled those out because I thought I was going to use them, but I'm not actually going to use them. I will, however, fill in my brows. Brow obsession. I'm just going to fill them in with some powder. I mean, I've already outlined them, might as well give them a little bit of filling, right? Fill them up a little bit. <laughs> hey, Danny! back in here. Grab my lash color because I'm going to use that here in a hot second. Da, 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 da. Actually, I'm just done, you guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Okay, I need... Turns out I am using this, huh? Use this just to kind of blend them. Yes. 
you guys, I might actually have a good day today. Okay. Anywho. Uh, that'd be weird, I promise. I'm gonna go ahead and wave. Did I miss any others? Nope. All right, all caught up on the waves. Okay. Quick little curl of my lash. Ah, and something goes right into my eye. What was that? I don't know what it was, but it is not welcome in my eye. Not welcome at all, sir. So I was like, hey, let me in. And I'm like, no. And actually, you know what? I am going to use pencil liner. on the water lines along my lashes. I wanted to make sure that I did this before I put my mascara on because I've tried doing this after I put my mascara on and um, it did not work out well. Hey Teddy! There we go. Ma. Now for the part that I hate. Mascaras. Because I tend to poke myself in the eye with these quite a bit. I already curled this lash, so I figure I'll just go ahead and start with this one. What the hair is getting stuck in my mascara here? <sighs> but I pinned my hair back. This shouldn't be happening. Oh, I got some concealer right here. It's okay, we got rid of it. We're good. Alright, and a quick curl for my other lashes. I think it's not like I only got one lash on this eye here. No. Bam. All right. So now, before I do my lipstick, I want to do my um, setting powder here. It has the SPF 20 in it. Go. Just dab, 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 dab. And go ahead and move it around. What is that? Well, whatever it was, it's gone now. Make sure all my makeup is set. And put that up. 
And then where's my brush where I, you know what? I'm just gonna use my buffer brush. And this will finish blending the rest of everything down. Making sure that I don't look all freaking powdery. And yes, I know, I just put setting powder on top, of, like finishing powder, but I'm paranoid. So, I'm a paranoid person. Uh. And I like the smell of the setting spray, so. Oh, my goodness. My nose always itches. Every time I do my makeup, my nose ends up itching like right after. It drives me bonkers, you guys. I don't know about you guys. But my hair annoys me. Alright, I can turn the fan back on now. And for the final part, a lippy. Ooh, Halloween again. Yes. This is um, a Moostrike Hottie Lip Plumper. Now, before we only had one, and it was this um, clear shade. It looks pink. It's like a clear pink. Anyways, but now we have like five other shades. And over the last four days, I wore like a different one each day. Well, today being day five, I get to wear the last, the last shade that we have. I'm going off the reservation there. There we go. Yeah. All right, I am done. I am all made up. Put my hair in. All right, where's my hairbrush? You my crazy hair. All right, I'm done. Ready to go. Alright you guys, so that is my little get ready with me. Oh, all done. Let me know what you guys think. Alright you guys, I'm gonna go. Love you guys. I hope you guys all have a fantastic Friday.